I was the chair of the House Education Committee and also the chair of the Early Childhood School Readiness Commission. And uh, every summer we would look at policies on how to actually address, you know, what, what we do at the Capitol is take all of this information and we know how important those early years are, but what should we do in terms of, of actually working to address and increase access to high quality early child care. Uh, and that is much more complicated than you would think. Uh, unfortunately, there can be a very partisan divide, and so I really appreciate the thoughtful conversations and uh, having, uh, bringing people across the aisle to look at this in a different way because it is some of the best investments that we can make with our, with our taxpayer dollars uh, early on. And so I've worked alongside uh, Sue with Epic on trying to look at ways that we can incentivize businesses to, that's a lot better, thank you, uh, to increase uh, what they're offering with flexible work schedules, increasing, you know, we looked at tax credits, how can we uh, tr ensure that businesses are doing the right thing, how can we increase access to preschool and kindergarten, but as they point out, that's still insufficient, but it is also a critical piece if we want to uh, increase access to, uh, we, we know if, if a kid has preschool, they are much more likely to succeed later, but I know that um, there are also other uh, earlier access problems that we need to address. Uh, but what we've been doing is we tried to, before I actually came uh, to the Capitol, they looked at access to early childhood education and, and increasing, uh, creating a Qualistar program so that they would rate how uh, the quality of child care and, and create incentives there. So what we saw though is while we had good intentions to increase high quality, it actually, uh, we have some of the highest child care costs in the nation. And so we're constantly struggling with how we incentivize, how we create high standards, but also recognizing that people are barely getting by today. Uh, so one of the policies that has been brought year after year at the Capitol, and it hasn't gone through yet, is a uh, Paid Family Medical Leave Act, which is a different proposal. This is a state policy that would actually create a, an insurance program. So you would, when, it, when you uh, go to sign up with all of your paperwork with your new job, part of that would also be uh, signing up for this insurance program. And it would take two to $5 out of your paycheck every week towards a fund. So that not only if you have to take leave, if you choose to have a child, that you actually have three months with that child, which we know is a critical time period, but also if you have a family member who's ill or you, you, know, you have an emergency in your life, that you actually have those emergency funds there to help support you through that process and that you're able to go back into the workforce. Uh, I understand that that can be, uh, you know, my friends across the aisle don't always look at that with open arms because of creating a new insurance program. So um, I think that it's really important that we look at streamlining this process for businesses and making sure that we're looking at uh, creative and new ways of actually trying to ensure that we are finally offering uh, paid family medical leave here in Colorado. I think that's five states have already implemented this in the United States and as you know, uh, we are the only developed country that doesn't offer paid family leave. So uh, I'm glad that we're all moving forward on the left and the right to look at what options there are. Uh, happy to uh, go into other areas. I don't have a PowerPoint presentation. I got the easy job tonight of just coming in to say hello and <laughs> answering questions that you have. Um, but I think that, you know, when I was first elected, um, the most important thing is that we actually listen to each other and work together. And when you build relationships down at the Capitol and uh, it's, it's amazing how many people you can bring to your side that you never thought would be there. Uh, and I know that there are plenty of people who care deeply about this on both sides of the aisle, and so I feel confident that we're gonna get some, some good things done this year. Thank you so much.